Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video of the Arts and Moth. They are here. The French tanks are here. We're going to start off with the MX-50. I did do a review of this on the public test server, but it seems its stats have been changed. The reload time is a little bit longer than last time. Uh, the defense slightly different actually. Uh, the whole armor is nowhere near as strong. The turret armor is a little bit stronger than last time. So this the stats have been changed. Um, this thing you get pen from the front now quite easily actually. All you have to do is just hit it right from the front. If it's angled like that don't shoot it. <laughs> don't shoot it. <laughs> if it's angled like that then shoot here. But if it's like uh, reverse tide scraping, don't shoot it at all. Just, I mean, seriously, it's 88 millimeters of composite armor. I don't know why it's composite armor. Don't, don't even ask me. But this thing is, it's still very, very strong. Not overpoweredly strong now. It kind of fits, but it's still. I would say it's probably still too strong uh, for tier 3. Um, I did suggest pulling up to tier 4 but it seems like they're not going with that plan, they're keeping it at tier 3. They have nerfed it slightly. Um, the aiming time is better than it used to be. I mean of course that's the kitted out aiming time but the aim time is around 2.4 seconds on the public test it was 3.1 so it was really bad aim time on the uh, public test but it seems to be a lot better aim time now the turret first has been nerfed slightly from 38 to 36 speed is the same um, power to weight is different uh, hit points, armor is different obviously, damage is different, penetration is different, um, the uh, camouflage is down by 1 from 15 to 14, but this thing still has this incredibly overpowered autoloader, 9 uh, shots, 9, 9 of them. I'm not even joking with that. The reload time it says is 16 seconds. I can reload this in 13.27 seconds. This thing is just it's it, it, the aim time yeah 2.4 seconds. It's stupidly strong. It really is. It is just if we actually excuse me. If we actually put some so accuracy, there's a little target in. If we put this on, uh, it doesn't change anything. If we go to the gunner, in time if we pretend, we want to more accuracy. Uh, five. Yep. So now it's zero point one two five now. So it's like zero point twelve. And for this one, we're gonna put rate of fire. And that should thirteen second reload now. So that's pretty good. And uh, let's look at our commander. Can we put anything on it? Oh, yeah, okay. We don't have any skills so that's uh, a bit of a bummer 280 millimeters pen with its um sabot round even though it didn't fire sabo when it was made it fire it did fire apds but not apfsds uh, so they've kind of messed it up a bit 1400 meters a second that's stupidly quick um, salvo reload basically that's in between of each shell 
is when you get this tank completely stock, it's 6.67 seconds. Um, and that's pretty long for each shell of an autoloader. I mean, the. Um, where is it? Uh, let me have a look. I think I've got it here. This one. Uh, it is. 4.29 seconds. The Stingray, I believe, is 3. Yeah, 3 seconds. So it is a very, very long um, difference. The very long reload of each shell. But you've got 9 of them. That's what makes this thing stupid. And plus, you only take 13 seconds to reload the, the drum. Uh, on console, some of you guys might, might know this. Uh, it's got six shells instead of nine. On PC, it's got five. Unless they've put it back up to six, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but this thing is stupid. <laughs> it's really, really stupid. It's just. Yes, it was overpowered on the public test, as some of you guys may have already known. But it wasn't overpowered to the point where uh, it was stupidly broken. Um, it wasn't stupidly broken, but it was it was on par of being broken. Um, I mean, yes, it did have the problem with the acceleration that has been nerfed. Because it was 6.09, now it's 6.39. Uh, but this thing is still strong. The armor's taken one hell of a hit. Uh, that used to be, I'm pretty sure that used to be 300 at the front. Now it's 154, so you need to angle this thing. Not by much. I mean, even angling like that, you're going to bounce a lot of tier 3s and a lot of tier 4s. 80 GMs are just going to go through like hot knife through butter, but. Again, uh, kinetic rounds, just pesh. The best thing to do, spam hesh at this thing. That's the best thing to do in this tank. And if I'm correct, then this tank here gets hesh. Yeah, it does. High explosive squash head. Uh, Hundred. 37, it's got 230mm pen so you can go right through the front of this thing, it doesn't really care about the angling, you just go right through the front this, it, this again 154mm so, I mean if it's like that don't shoot the cheeks off the hole because it's not going to pen <clears throat> but this thing is just it's just stupid, I mean it's got 8 degrees gun depression on water tanks, it's got 10. Uh, it takes 50, 50 seconds to reload this six shot auto loader on water tanks. 13 to reload a nine clip auto loader. <laughs> I think that's on par. No, it reloads quicker. What about Stingray? Don't say it reloads quicker than it. No, it doesn't. It takes about twice as long to reload. The Stingray only has four shells in a mag, but it's an auto reloader, so. Uh, and I think if I'm. If we scroll through here. Uh, what about this one? This one takes stupid. Yeah, five seconds. To uh, reload the mag, but yeah, this thing is just—it—it—it's—it's it's one of those tanks where you've got to think to yourself, like, why am I playing this thing? Because this, uh, to be honest, this thing is unfair. It really is. I mean, in water tanks, it's balanced in a way where it has no armor, but it has a really good gun. The reload does get it not down but can't have any, every, if everything on here the thing that it loses is the speed I mean of course it does 51 but you're not going to reach that speed you're only going to reach it when you're going downhill um, 
You could do about 47, 48 on rough terrain and about about 50, 49, 50 on road. But everything else about this machine is just stupid. It really is. The gun is like 3,000 damage per minute. 3,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 330. 20. So, calculator. So we do 320. Uh, standard 320 times by 9 equals. If you hit a tank, every single shot. Um, you could do nearly 3,000 damage. That's significant. That is really significant because now you have the uh, the yacht. The uh, I mean, you can one hit I sevens. You can one hit LAVs, and I think you can even you can clip tier fives. And I think, if I'm correct, you can even clip tier sixes. Yeah, you can clip tier sixes. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. I don't think it. No, it can't clip a tier seven. Uh, but it it won't be able to clip an a, uh, XM one unless it high rolls. But it can clip practically every tier six. <laughs> So this thing is just stupid. It is so stupidly broken. And that thing, like 3,300 damage per minute. So, uh, 13, 16, 17, 18, 52. So if we do, uh, Two thousand eight hundred eighty. So if you do two thousand eight hundred eighty times by four equals that's eleven thousand damage per minute. That's nearly twelve. That's about twelve thousand damage per minute. So this thing, it doesn't have three thousand damage per minute. It has twelve thousand damage per minute. <laughs> this thing has the highest damage per minute at tier three. <laughs> oh god, this thing is stu oh my god. But when you think about it, oh, uh, when you think about it, well, that's not that's not exactly accurate because if you look, um, what's the shell in into? Burst rate for salvo reload 6.67 seconds. So it's about. It's not coming up with it, that's the problem. Uh, how do we do this? So base, so I mean, I guess it's right. Three thousand damage per minute, but that is insanely high for tier three. I mean, this thing has what is it? Two thousand, two thousand seven hundred, IS four, IS seven. Sorry, two thousand three hundred, two thousand eight hundred, three thousand two hundred, four thousand DPM because it's a. Uh, 9 millimeter that takes four seconds reload, but basically this thing just out DPMs every tier three and most tier four, if not all tier four main battle tanks. And if I go here, the Type Knight, so the Type 85, uh, what's the DPM of it again? It it's kind of on par with tier five main battle tanks. Actually, it, it's it's better than the T80. 
worse than Sheldon or physique because the Sheldon's a no brainer. What about the Leopard 2 AV? It has better damage per minute than the Leopard 2 AV. And the Leopard 2 AV is, is a tier 6 main battle tank. So a tier 3 has better DPM than some tier 6 main battle tanks. That is stupid. <laughs> That's retarded. <laughs> It has, it actually has worse DPM than the T92LT, but that's T92LT. Um, but we're gonna try and take this out into battle and just see how this thing can perform, really. <sighs> but basically, this thing is just, it's just one of those tanks where it's how do you describe this tank it's it's definitely a tank to fear definitely definitely a tank to fear you fear this tank on the battlefield if you f are f if you find this tank in a pvp battle you just you hope to god he's reloaded or at least he's got one shell left in the mag. Uh, just hope that he's not fully loaded because he will be able to clip you. Um, but this thing is just, it's just stupid, it really is. It's also got composite armor, so heat is gonna be a bit of a struggle to pen this thing. Really, when you think about it. Um, he got 1900 hit points because he's using the additional HP buff. Um, but it's three. Th this is just stupid. It's three AMX 50s. It should be the from the AMX 50s. Please take back control of the port area so civilian shipping can resume. There are also SAMs in the area. Clearing out so those missiles will allow special forces to land on those ships and retake them. Good luck, Black Company. We've got 8 degrees gun pressure, so we should be alright. Now just hold the port area. And we've got Sabo, so... I'd expect our PLM friends won't be happy about you being here. Please take back control of the port area. So the PLM is a surprise for us. Find cover and fight your way out of there. So we're just going to go over here and just find this spot here. Hopefully they shouldn't be able to pen up front armor if it's angle at a steep angle. Um, if they do, then, uh, then obviously they'll probably find Hesh or something like that. Let's see over here. We don't have the best few range. We have 390 millimeter, uh, meters. Millimeters. Identify. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we missed that. We clutched that. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, there you go. We've got five shots. Identify target. Awful, take. So we haven't taken any damage because our oh, armor's insanely strong. We're going to reload here because we only had three shells remaining. We don't want to use up all of our shells. So we do that, we run the risk of actually. Well, that's a T32 then. It's not, it's a 292. We actually run the risk of actually um, making ourselves very vulnerable. So we're going to move up. Identify. Oh, oh God, okay. Jesus. He actually went straight for our front armor. Target eliminated. Oh, we did actually hit this guy. Enemy destroyed. Him. Oh, this thing, this thing is just stupid. It really is. Oh, that's a, that's a Leo.
He's angled, so it's going to be Target destroyed. Oh, no, it's not fucking him. Identify. Oh. 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 But there are more SAMs out there, and we can't send special forces in until they are all cleared. Identify. Oh, God. Reload. Okay, reload. Target oh, down. Reload. Throw grenade out. So it's a 4.55 second interview between each shell. Not bad, actually. So our DPM is very, very hard. Target destroyed. Okay, took him out. Where is he coming? Where are those shots coming from? Identify target. Awful oh, tank. We can easily take all these guys on. It's not really a worry. Threat destroyed. And his polar. Awful tank. Target eliminated. Again. And again, we're going to angle slightly. Enemy destroyed. Kill him. Identify. Again. Awful tank. Target eliminated. Yeah, we in an angle. I don't know why I'm not. And him. Hey, he's somehow petting us up. He's firing the hash. Target destroyed. So that's going to be a problem for us. Target enemy destroyed. Kill him. We are racking up the kills here. Enemy destroyed. There you well, go. So this thing is just, it, it's stupid. It work. really is. <laughs> it can be penned, but it's very strong. Very strong at tier 3. Um, again, I still think it's too strong for tier 3. Uh... It probably needs to have a slightly longer reload for that autoloader. I mean, 4,900 damage. That's just... Look at that. Did the most damage. We got 13 kills. 17 spots. Oh, God. How much damage did we actually block? Or mitigate? 3,700. Damage from ricochets... 820 potential damage from non penetrating hits 2900. Uh, this thing is it, it's it's I'm not gonna say it's too strong, I'm just gonna say it needs a little bit of tweaking because I mean, uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna have to say it's too strong, too strong for tier three. It's still it is still just too strong, uh, and I think it needs to be toned down. The high explosive is all right, 37 millimeters of pen. It does do less damage for some reason, and that's a bit confusing. No oh, potential damage 70 to 512, so that's not bad. The shell velocity is pretty nice. Um, nine rounds a minute. Yeah. But this thing is very, very, very good. You can easily hold off a lot of people. A lot of people with this 9 shot all loader. Uh, it can 2 clip practically all tier 2 main battle tanks. Well, I'll say that. That was bots. But it could probably... Maybe five or six shot tier two main battle tanks, and it can probably clip uh, well, it could clip tier threes, it could clip tier twos, it could clip tier threes, it could clip tier fours. I mean, if you're up against an IS 7 because you've got 280 millimeters of pen. And an IS-7 is like angled like this. Um, it's steel. You could go right through that. No problem. I mean you could put one shot, two shot, three shot, four shot, five shot. He's dead. 
um, and that's just that's the strength of this tank. It's got a ridiculously strong auto loader. Thank God it's not an auto reloader, because then this thing would be horrendously broken. Again, the 13 second reload. I think that's too. It just makes this thing too strong, and I still think it needs to be toned down. Um, so anyway guys thank you guys for watching this video if you if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs down put in the comment section what you think about this tank and uh, if you own this tank if you don't own this tank I would suggest you get in this tank uh, it's not really a it's this, this isn't re it hasn't really been nerfed it's just been tweaks from the public test I have a feeling that this thing is going to get a heavy nerf soon um, from me up uploading this video or from people complaining about it because this thing is just so strong 13 second reload uh, 3300 damage per minute that's very very good for an auto loader like this and you get uh, let's get a standard auto loader M41 I think this has 11 shots yeah, 11 shots. It's 2.4 inch of fuel, inch of fuel per uh, 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 shot. It's got 25 rounds a minute. It has an average damage of 3,100. So that means that the AMX 50, it still can out DPM a lot of tanks even some tier sixes this thing can out dpm and that is something to fear <laughs> that is something to a tier three having more dpm than some tier sixes and i don't think it has more dpm than tier sevens i'm gonna be very surprised if it does i don't think it does we just make sure no it doesn't I just want to make absolutely totally sure uh, it doesn't appear it doesn't appear to no it doesn't appear to have better DPM we're going way up in DPM now 6,000 5,000 5,000, 5,000. So the AMX 50, very strong tank for tier 3. I think it needs to be tier 4 because, I mean, seriously, why why would you even question me why it needs to be tier 4? Because this thing is so strong at tier 3. If this thing was tier 4, I think it would be a fair fight up against tier 6s. I mean, like, with, uh, right. 2,100 hit points with, I don't know, probably about 250 millimeters of front of armor, 100 sides, 80 at the rear, 310 millimeters of front of armor, 210 at the sides, 90 at the rear. I think that will be balanced. Um, and I mean, if it is pull up to tier 4, obviously the acceleration rate is going to be toned down to probably about five seconds speed is going to be pull up defense is going to is going to be pull up rate of fire it's probably going to stay the same because this is tier six rate of fire this is tier six damage per minute you've got to take that into consideration um utility 390 meter few range that's not best that really is not best uh 385 for uh, uh, the IS-4 somehow says oh on the move there you go this thing has 415 390 415 405 435 when it stops so this thing it, it, it can't spot for itself it really cannot spot for itself and I think that's another weakness about this thing is that this thing can also get spotted quite easily um, unlike the IS-7 I think the IS-7 has a better concealment no it has worse 
LA fee obviously going to have better concealment. Yeah, 37, 14, 14. So it's not bad concealment. But again, it's not the best. I mean, in stationary, it's 14. Moving, it's 14. And shooting, it's 14. Uh, this thing is stupid. It really is. It's not the most broken machine. But it's close. It is definitely close. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope that you guys like this video. Bye-bye.